So my name is Fawn Nguyen and uh, four things teacher school never taught me, never warned me about. So um, I had to learn these things on my own over the course of 20 years in the classroom. So if you're a new teacher, hopefully it's not too late for you. <laughs> right? I grew up in Vietnam where I learned my times table. We had to stand with our palm open. The teacher would point to one of us and say four times eight. And if we gave the wrong answer, she would give us a sharp whack on the hand. I got hit a lot. <laughs> Uh, the grading system in Vietnam was a simple ranking system. In a class of 30 kids, being ranked number 30 meant you were the dumbest. And I knew I could never be number one, so my goal was just to be number 29 and play in the rain. <laughs> yeah. I only went into teaching because I knew my chance of being admitted to med school, med school was pretty slim. Um, so as a compromise, I married a doctor instead. <laughs> to make my mom happy, um, so I divorced him to make me happy. <laughs> I gotta stay on the slides. <laughs> uh, I did learn from teacher school classroom management and going into a middle school that would make or break a teacher, so I got this thing down really well. I also learned to write lesson, plan, uh, lesson plans. I made sure I highlighted all my lesson accommodations, even though I knew I couldn't follow them. Uh, my pacing guy looks great. I just, again, don't follow it, but it's there. Teacher school did warn me about the long hours and the low pay, that I get sick all the time. Uh, but I mean, if I do get sick, don't be sick on a Monday or Friday because there won't be any subs available. <laughs> and, um, you know, my colleagues would hate me even more if they have to cover for my classes. So I knew about classroom management, uh, what to do, and the long hours, and how to write lesson plans. So what four things did I not learn from teacher school? <laughs> now I'm just... <laughs> that kids could talk like this. That crazy parents exist. You, you didn't let me talk it on the last slide. And I'm not talking about the demanding one or the one who does the kids' homework, the drunk, highest, a kite parent. No, none of those. I'm not even talking about any of those. It's this one, this crazy one. <laughs> in my algebra class and what I wanted to tell her was she's not good in math Mrs. Hall it's because she's only half Asian <laughs> I got both of these lines from the same parent this year <laughs> when her son told us mom I just need to wear my glasses and I can see just fine she then said well I meant the glare of the whiteboard <laughs> These are just a few of my favorite ones. And if you know how to respond to these, please see me after the show. I will buy you all the beer you can drink. I didn't know that, I'm sorry, I didn't know that I had to wear a bra whenever I go out, or that you know I can't buy tampons and douche within a 45 mile radius of the school, and that I can't talk to kids like this. So my principal came at the end of the day and told me, Fawn, Danny said you called him an asshole. I said I had to correct her and I said no, I said he acted like one, big difference. <laughs> I didn't know that uh, kids would fight to the death for me, that's what teachers school didn't warn me, that I would fall in love with teaching, that I would fall in love with these kids. I cry, <laughs> I love these kids and um, that they would all dress up in green before an Oregon game that they came up and asked if I was okay and gave me hugs after the loss to Stanford. And, <laughs> and again, after the loss, awful loss to Arizona, they wrote on their shirts for me. They went all out and did the Harlem Shake with me. Um, they went inside our home for trick-or-treating. Um, that every day they let me know that what I do matters and uh, that we're like an extended family. So, I ah, love my kids. And uh, one year they decided to call me Master Win. So I said, if you're gonna call someone Master, shouldn't you bow to her? And so, <laughs> and so they did. 
um, I want to capture their faces before the competition, that I also didn't know that the kids could continue to stay in touch with me. Alex and Bella are now sophomores, and they drew all the sketches for me for this presentation. So thank you, girls, and thank you. <laughs>